everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a feeding video or a feeding all my pets video. A lot of you guys have been asking me to film something like this. So I also wanted to mention that this video was not easy to film because it was literally taking place over a span of a week because not all of my pets eat this. They don't eat all in the same day, if that makes any sense. So reptiles and some amphibians actually don't eat every single day. So it wasn't like I was able to wake up in the morning and film um, all of my pets in one day. This was over a week. Um, for example, my snakes only eat once a week and my uh, frogs, some of my frogs only eat once a week as well, once or twice a week. Um, and then also another thing, a lot of my animals are kind of shy. They're kind of camera shy and they don't really like the phone in their face too much. So it was really hard to get footage of some of them actually eating but I mean you got to see them at least and you got to I got to show you what I feed them on a daily basis um, but without further ado here's the video okay since my reptiles don't eat every single day um, it is Tuesday today and I'm actually gonna feed them a little bit of what are these wax worms so we're gonna go ahead and feed Gumby a couple I kind of just give this to them like as a little treat um, they also eat pack attack as well but I feel like this is more fun to watch like feeding wise so for the sake of the video, they're gonna be eating wax worms. I also have a couple of hornworms. Um, these guys are so freaking expensive, but we're also gonna give them a couple as well. I'm gonna give one to Gumby and then see if Chicken wants one. Okay, so now it's time to feed the cats. Um, normally my cats are on raw food, but I'm in a rush today, so I don't have enough time to defrost their raw food because I forgot to do that last night. But, hi Julius. So we're just gonna feed them, um, I have like backup food, so we're just gonna feed them that for now. Okay, so they're just gonna get some Weyruva. Um, I have a bunch of different flavors for them, so I'm just gonna go with this one. This one is the tuna and lamb flavor. And a lot of people ask me what kibble they're on. They're usually on open farm raw mix kibble. Um, I'll put a photo of it on the side here. But as backup kibble, because I literally just ran out of that stuff, they have um, extra taste of the wild. So I'm just gonna give them some of that for now. All right, I normally just feed them on a paper plate and then I'm gonna put this on here. And then I also have a little popsicle stick to get all the food out. So in this enclosure, I currently have one of my jumping spiders. Um, she currently has a mealworm in there, but she didn't eat it from last night. So I'm probably gonna remove it later today. Um, but she's currently hiding in her little nest here. She, you can see her little eyes. She's so freaking cute. Okay, um, I'm just gonna spray down the side of her tank with this water bottle so she can get a little bit of hydration and that's pretty much it for her. All right, I misted down a side of her enclosure so she can have some water droplets if she's thirsty. And as for Drogon, he's gonna get some super warms today. I have to go to the market later to get him some more veggies because he's currently out, but he will just get a couple of these in the meantime. And we're just shaking them up with some Repticalcium into this little mug. And now it's time to feed him. He may or may not be hungry, but we'll see. Okay, normally when he closes his eyes like that, it means he's not hungry. So yeah, I don't think the big man's hungry. So we'll probably have to try again later today. All right, since Drogon didn't want the super worms, maybe Picasso will want them. He is currently right there and he's also getting absolutely gigantic. Um, we're definitely not gonna be able to see him eat because he's very shy, but we are gonna put some of the super worms into his feeder right here. And I know this thing's like really janky. It actually like fell from his enclosure. So I just bought him a new one, but for now this will do. I'm just gonna throw a couple of super worms into his cup. Okay, next up we're gonna feed all the geckos. Here's Andromeda, she's doing absolutely amazing. Look how beautiful she is. Um, but she was sleeping and I feel like I woke her up. So I'm gonna put her back where she belongs. Look how chonky she is though. She's so freaking cute. Go back to sleep. Oh, okay, bye. In here, we also have my lychee gecko. Her name is Vagar. 
there she is she's so freaking cute and she's actually very sweet i know a lot of lychees have problems with like cage aggression and everything but she's honestly a very good girl like i can just go in and pick her up and she's just the sweetest old lady ever look how cute she is the sweetest baby oh my goodness i love her so much but we're gonna put her back because i definitely disturbed her from her slumber <laughs> Okay, good night, Fayar. Sorry. And as for her food, she eats the same thing as Andromeda, my crested gecko. So let's go ahead and put some food into their bowls. They are nocturnal, um, so they're probably not going to eat until at night. All right, so the geckos are currently on this um, Pangea. I have a lot of different flavors for them, so I usually change it up. Um, but they're just on the Pangea. I also give them crickets every now and then. They got crickets yesterday, and then they also have like a fasting day as well. Um, so we're just going to leave the food in there for them but this is what it looks like and then you just literally mix in water and this powder yeah. all right so i make it vegars first and then i'm just gonna give um andromeda a little scoop because they really don't eat that much they never finish their meals so i'm trying to give them a little bit less to see how much they'd eat or finish, but this is literally all that they eat. All right, I'm literally just gonna plop it in here so she'll eat it later. All right, so now it's time to feed the dogs. Um, I don't have Pablo right now because Pablo's currently in my mom's house, but we have all three of the others. So I'm not gonna go into super detailed stuff about what I'm feeding them um, because the video will just be too long. So I'll probably just time lapse this and then I'll put everything that I'm adding on the side in like a photo of it or something. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and as for the dumpy frogs, they normally eat dubia roaches, which I have in these containers. Um, so this is like their main diet, but I like to switch it up and give them crickets from now on, like from time to time. So they probably get crickets at least once or twice a week, depending on how busy I am and if I'm able to go to the reptile store because I honestly hate keeping crickets. I think they smell and they're really gross. So we're gonna dust these off with a little bit of calcium. Um, I was gut loading them for a few days. Um, so yeah, I think there's a couple of dead ones though that I'm gonna have to remove. So as always, we're gonna dust it off, dust them off with some rep to calcium. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in this bag and then we're just gonna shake the bag on top like so. I think I might have put too much. Oh gosh, I definitely put too much. All right, now that they are finally dusted, we're gonna add it into their enclosure. And the dumpy frogs are nocturnal, so we're probably not gonna be able to see them eat at all, but we can dump these in. And I kind of just let them like, jump everywhere i don't normally put them in a bowl um just because i like them to be able to, to hunt for their food um it provides them with really good enrichment and everything but they usually just jump out of this bowl anyways i'm just gonna dump it all in here all right the crickets have made it into their bowl they're probably gonna jump out in a little bit but they have this whole entire enclosure to hop around and then my dumpy frogs are currently all sleeping in their little and they're little tiny, I don't even know what this is called. It's like a 3D printed hut. So they'll wake up at night and feed. Okay, we have some rare sighting of the frogs awake. 
they are, like I mentioned earlier, nocturnal. So they're currently hunting crickets, but there's no more in the bowl. So I feel like the crickets are probably just all over the place, running around. So I just got back from the reptile store to get all the animals some feeders. It's in this bag here. Um, I also have Kilo, um, a pre-killed rat for Kilo. Um, so trigger warning, if you don't want to see a pre-killed rat, we're just going to place it in her enclosure because she definitely will not eat for me on camera, like not at all. Okay, so if you guys don't like mice, just skip this part because we have to feed Mr. Pickles. And let's see if he's hungry. Um, we're not sure because he's kind of a finicky eater, so he kind of eats off and on. So let's go ahead and feed him this pre-killed mice. Um, it's a frozen mice, so yeah. All right, no mouse for Mr. Pickles. I did buy a cup of hornworms for Drogon today. Um, they finally had them in stock. I swear they never have them in stock whenever I try to buy them for him, but they're like a decently smaller size, but we're just gonna give him a couple as a treat. He absolutely loves his hornworms. He will eat any, any size hornworm that I give him and he'll probably eat as many as he wants. And I bought a pretty big cup, so I'm gonna give a couple to Picasso as well, um, just as a little treat for him. He does really like these, and I'd be really surprised if we were able to catch him eating one, but we're gonna put it in his little feeder anyways. So as I mentioned earlier, this video was made over the span of like two weeks, but I actually got him a new feeder, and I got it on Amazon and I absolutely love it. Um, there's dubia roaches on there already. Um, and yeah, he really likes it and it's working really, really well. I just kind of hooked it on there for him. Where is he hiding? Ah, there he is. But I'm just gonna give him a few hornworms um, and yeah, we're just gonna leave it on this little feeder for him. So it's literally currently 12 a.m. right now and I'm so tired, but we have to feed the rain frogs. I only feed them one to two times a week, depending on how full they usually get. So I have my crickets here and we're gonna add a little bit of calcium and give it to them. And then now we have to go digging for them. So ravioli is already awake. Um, so we're just gonna grab him really quickly because he's probably looking for some food and put him in our little feeding dish container. I don't feed them inside their enclosure because I don't want them to accidentally eat any substrate. So they eat in this feeding dish and as you can see, he's very hungry. <laughs> so now we dig through the substrate to find the rest of them. Um, it shouldn't take too long. I like to wear gloves so the substrate doesn't get under my nails. But their enclosure is very simple. Oh, there he is, there's one. And by the way, I barely see my rain frogs. For the most part, they are usually stuck underground and just buried in substrate all day, so I hardly get to see them. And we have to grab one more. Let's find the last one. The last one, his linguine is literally the hardest to find for some reason, so I'm just gonna do some digging and look for him. All right, I found linguine. He was hiding in the corner, but here he is. Look how cute he is. All right, he's probably very hungry, so let's go them in the feeding dish and they probably go through about 200 crickets a week um, I usually get them in 200 counts and they finish them fairly quickly all right but that was today's video for this week I hope you guys enjoyed I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for 12,000 subscribers like honestly I didn't think I would even like get that many subscribers. Um, I was just kind of doing YouTube for fun, but I was really off and on in the beginning, but now I'm taking it a lot more seriously. So I'm trying to upload at least one video a week for you guys. But just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the love and support. I honestly, I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.